take the cat out of the bag just yet. So I'll just let the Godfather himself <laughs> do the introduction. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Welcome. 2014, I graduated and I came back home and I sat down. I was like, okay, what next? Session on moments with being on Crop City TV. But today, it's not about me. No. I wish it was about me, but. <laughs> I miss this place, Barcode Lounge, of course. It's a beautiful place. It's calm, it's classy, it's just, it's stylish. Meanwhile, welcome to Moments with Dini. It's another beautiful week, guys, and I'm so excited for some reason. I don't know why. Well, maybe because I'm alive, duh. And I'm healthy. There's so many things to be grateful for today. Be grateful for life, be grateful for health, be grateful for friends, be grateful for family, be grateful for love, whatever it is you have that money cannot buy, you have to be grateful. And then you see things to just start falling in place. Today's session is about love, it's about compassion, it's about creativity, it's about a lot of things. And we're going to be interviewing a woman, a young lady, I must say. I don't want to use the word woman, let me call it older. Nah. But we're going to be talking to a, a lady, a young lady. She's an entrepreneur and she does almost everything, something that you all want to know about. So stay tuned and don't touch that down. To moment to Danny. How are you today? I'm fine. You're looking beautiful. Thank you. I can no see Mr. Yari blushing. is really doing a good job. No, I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us about yourself. How did um, your name, your state? Uh... Okay. I'm Rachel Yari from Cross River State, Maritali from Cardinal State. I like that. I was born and brought up in KD. I've gone through Cardinal North. I spent 20 years of my life in Cardinal North. Then the remaining years I've stayed so far in Cardinal South. So I can as well say I'm a born Cardinal B. Definitely. Because I don't think I've not stayed up to a month outside Cardinal. Wow. Never stayed one month outside Cardinal, so I'm a full Cardinal B. So I know you as an entrepreneurial person. Yeah. I know you to be the type of business, like she sells almost anything. She's that business minded. But what, is it what exactly do you do? What part of business are you into? Yeah, by privilege, I do virtually everything. Told you. But so far, so good. I do a lot of hand work. As an entrepreneur, I try as much as I can to know something about everything. I train people on several hand works. I, I do over 50 hand works. My wow. hands can do over 50 things by privilege and developing myself. And I'm still learning more. Words. Okay, so I a little bit told me you're planning to start up an NGO. Yeah. Tell us about that. Okay. In 2012, that's quite a number of years ago, I started an outreach program. It became like a part of me and a yearly thing. In 2012, I was privileged to reach out to an orphanage home in Zaria. In 2013, I also reached out to like 10 different orphanage homes in Kaduna State. And it's a yearly thing that has been. I was just doing this out of my love for people, my love for the less privileged. But early part of this year, I realized it's more than the demand, it's more than the way I'm running it. I became like a voice for the people, for the orphans, for the less privileged, for the widows and the disabled people. And I realized it's time to take it further. Let me first of all register it as an NGO 
so that I could easily have the legal permission to run it, being an NGO, and also get support from. Being registered gives me an opportunity for me to be reliable, for people to know I'm actually reliable and it's something that's real. It gives you an opportunity to get fundings in order to support what you're running. So I, I, I just felt these people are very, very, I don't know what to say, like, they need us because they, they, I, I, I did an outreach like two months ago with disabled people. I was privileged to train 70 disabled people wow. on how to do three different um, products, how to make liquid soap, how to make shampoo, and how to make room freshener. And it was, it was an amazing one. I cried all through the day because I, I saw people who were willing to learn. But these people have been intimidated. Some of them inferiority complex is disturbing them. Some of them don't even believe in themselves. I was able to, by privilege, talk to them and make them realize some there is ability in disability. There's something they could do out of. Rather than begging, they could do other things with their hands, even with their um, challenge. I made them practicalize what I taught them for them to be able to see that though I'm blind, Though I don't know how to work, but I could just sit down at my comfort and mix these reagents and get a living for myself. And I'm so happy about this today because there are one or two or three of them today that do this thing and sell them as in, wow. as in they earn money out of it. So they've been able to leave the streets from begging and they have a source of income today. Wow, and wonderful. anybody that sees a lame man selling, for instance, liquid soup, you prefer to buy from that man just yeah, to encourage him than to buy from this other person. So that's just it. It's just a means of helping hands, helping people. Oh, it's true. It's beautiful. So you wrote a book one time, right? Yeah. So what was the book about? Okay, I wrote a book on... The title of the book is From Producer to Consumer. Okay. Mm -hmm. From Consumer to Producer. Yeah, From Consumer to Producer. That's, let me look that again. The title of the book is From Consumer to Producer. Now, the ideology of the title, first of all, is it's, um, rather than being a consumer, it's better you become a producer. Let me use liquid soap as for, inst for instance. When you make liquid soap of 1,005, you get 22 liters. But if you are to buy liquid soap of 22 liters, you spend about 3,005. Wow. So the difference is quite much. Rather than making housewife just sit down at home as a full-time housewife, or you're you are a graduate, you're just looking for a like, white-collar job, I just feel with that book, there are production of step, procedure, and uses for like 12 different products in, this, in the book. So rather than just sit down doing nothing, you could just get that book. From the book, you make different kind of home utensils you can use and get a living for yourself. And you can even save cost and just make for your house use. That's the ideology then. I, I produced the book and it was launched. But all funds that I got out of the launching went into my 2018 orphanage outreach project. Wow, that's Everything nice. went there. And we decided, me and my husband, to give out first 1,000 copies for free. So you could come for yours. I'm definitely coming for mine, guys. Definitely. Wow, this is so, so beautiful. I get encouraged when I see people that move with um, the half passion towards helping others, you know. Last as we are all, we are the only ones that are left in this world and we have to help each other. And I must say, I am really, really impressed with what you've been doing. I've been seeing you've been getting accolades as well. I've seen you've gotten some awards as well. Um, but what are the things that, that Kijer, is it Kijer organizes? What's the name of your company exactly? And okay. what are the things you guys do? All the things you guys do? Okay, the name of my company is Kijer Nigerian Limited. We have several arms. We have the Kijer orphanage outreach. We we'll as well have the Kijek School of Creativities and Skills and we also have Kijek London. All of these are very, very functional. The Kijek orphanage outreach I've explained so much. Actually, the meaning of Kijek is a word in my tribal language, which means love. So for everything I do is out of love, beginning from our name, it's a registered name. Then in the Kijek School of Creativity and Skills, we train young people, women, housewife, young ladies, churches, different organizations, you invite us, we train them on how to make different things, shoe making, bag making, chemical formations for products, we make interior design, we make beads, we make exterior design. So 
most of we, we, we are just like an organization that train people to be skillful. Basically, that's what that arm of Kije is. Then the laundry service, we do home cleaning and usual laundry kinds of service. I told you that's guys from the beginning, she does practically everything. I know her on the personal ground, I can tell you she's a wonderful lady and now a wonderful wife. So just in case you are, she's out of the market, guys. <laughs> All right, Kije, CEO Kije. Nigeria Limited. It's been wonderful having you here. I must say I'm motivated to do better. Like it goes beyond me now. So whatever I'm going into, I try to I try I will try to reach out to people and do better. So I hope you listeners out there are being moved right now to show love to your neighbor. Do your best. Nothing is too small really. Just try. Even if it's a skill, it's a knowledge, something you know you could share. If it's money you could share. And but how can we reach your your outreach? Like how can we reach to you guys in case we want to contribute something? Okay, I think one of the fastest way of reaching anybody is through contacts. So my phone contact is zero eight zero six seven nine nine four zero eight seven. I repeat again zero eight zero six seven nine nine four zero eight seven. You can follow us on Instagram, Rachel Obiari on Facebook. Rachel Obiari and our Facebook page is Kije Concept and Design. You can follow us on any and send us a message. Our account number is always yeah, at sure. So then, like you heard it from the CEO herself, in case you want to reach out to their outreach as well, and you have something you want to add up or something you just want to find out about, you can always reach them on all the handles she mentioned. It's been a wonderful session and I hope you've learned something today. I hope you've learned love, just like the name of our company today. Thanks for staying tuned, guys, and see you next week.